Welcome back guys, I'm giving you another Advanced Warfare commentary today. Now, really, I caught my, I have really even extended my, my Call of Duty fan base to even further levels now, after seeing the new multiplayer trailer that they put out. Now, we all know that the main character is played by Troy Baker, who most of us remember from his multiple anime character roles, his, he is a rock star on the side, and he recently gave the voice character and face recognition for Infamous Second Son. Now, he plays Mitchell in this game alongside veteran actor, director, and a few other things he is, Kevin Spacey. Now, what really catches my attention about this trailer is due to, is due to the fact that it's got more of battle sequence to it than, mo than the other trailers, because Call of Duty's is really all about their whole keeping their fans concentrated on what not only not just the game itself but keeping it uh, keeping their attention with the storyline because if the storyline were boring characters and gamers themselves would not want to be bothered with such a thing but that's the thing about Call of Duty they have been they've been very faithful to us as fans and to themselves as people who have been in the video game designing business for years and years on so they did really deserve our respect because they're not only putting their reputation on the line, they're putting their 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 education because where their breach of work is is where they want to tell a story. Not just create a game that involves us blowing someone's head off, of course, but they want to give us something that will change our entire perspective on the entire video game franchise. And considering Sledgehammer is putting the game on the neck, the new gen consoles, it's only natural that that bar would be raised a little bit higher. But anyway, let's keep it going. Okay, so technically, I can't really, I'm not going to really say too much about the game because the game itself is proved to be a higher standard video game than any other title has been in the last five years. And once it comes out, they say that there is a large amount of stuff coming for the game itself, and it are ready for pretty much anything. Minus all the, the extra stuff that it comes with, but the whole point of the game is just to express the new level of technology that the game is to feature. And with that in mind, it means that the game itself is already proving to be something that 2014 was never ready for, but is ready for it now. But quite frankly, I'm only excited due to the fact that the whole multiplayer thing is being brought to story mode because they refused to do it in Call of Duty Ghost. So I was like, okay, so they're not gonna do it in Call of Duty Ghost. So why don't they just do it? Why don't they just do it in a uh, Advanced Warfare? It's like because I was thinking about this because I got into a, like a heated debate with my friends. I was like because they don't want to put all that extra time and money in developing co-op for story mode. I was like, you're wrong because you know Call of Duty is like that. You know. It doesn't have to be online play all the time, you know, it can be strict, you know, training, any any exercise of Call of Duty itself has proven to be a game that's extending its its lifespan as a franchise. You know, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is only making the game itself even better because it's including co-op in story mode. So it means, like, I'm guessing you get a team of, what, 12 guys that you can team up with? So you can just go ham on everybody. You know, the whole point of the game is just to express the fact that it's now advanced. You know, advanced technology. The new DLCs, the 24 the twenty four hour ahead thing, the limited edition Xbox One, the limited edition weapons, all that good stuff. This is what Call of Duty was meant for. But the whole point of the fact is, the game is going to be a success. And I have no doubt in my mind it will be on IGN. It'll be on everybody's minds for another for years. So you know what, guys? All I gotta say is drop a comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.